Chris, let's talk about um, your opportunity. Of course, I know you, you want to get drafted. That's the dream. But talk about this opportunity to get in front of scouts and, and show the things that you do well. Uh, I mean, every time I got an opportunity to like uh, showcase myself in front of scouts, it's, it's big. You know, you gotta come ready uh, physically and mentally and do what I gotta do. Do you have any extra motivation going into these next couple of months of preparation, knowing that if you look on like ESPN's best available, they don't even have you listed as one of the top 100? Oh, no, nah, I don't pay attention to that. Uh, my, my personal motivation is my family back home. And I mean, knowing that uh, I can fall from like Gabon to here just to accomplish this dream. And it's like right here in front of my nose. So I got to take it. Chris, what have you heard about so your your draft potential and your NBA potential? Not so much draft, but your you know how you could play at the next level. Um, <clears throat> about like a lot of people told me my game correspond to the NBA because uh, now these days like they got big cars, and um, like my athleticism is definitely like a huge part of it. Um, like my mother, uh, the way I play defense because uh, in the NBA like. Everybody just try to play offense these days. So like, my defense probably gonna like make me uh, look different than everybody else. Just the feedback you got when you went through this process last year. How well did you think you applied it to your senior season? What other a couple specific skills? Whether it was expanding your range, maybe guarding differently. Um, what, what things do you think that you picked up during that experience that you did apply and improve on your senior year? Uh, they talked a lot about my shot, uh, my work around the basket, and uh, I mean, my junior year, all I, I was doing is just uh, try to uh, muscle everybody down in, in the post. So they talked about like uh, facing up and all that kind of stuff, which I, I try to do this year, shooting uh, the ball more. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, I, I spent the summer before the season working on it, and I think it paid off during the season. What has Coach Martin told you about the process and what to do over these next couple months? Um, basically, I went last year on the process to, to find out what it, uh, it is about. So uh, definitely this year, uh, except for the post for me, I know exactly like what to expect. So I'm ready for uh, the process to go on. Chris, have you heard anything from like Cinder PJ on you know sort of like what this process is like, what it takes maybe over the next couple months to, to really get your game informed? Oh no 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 no! They they told me last year they did a, lot, a good job like uh, telling me what it was about because I didn't know really like what to do. But they know this year I'm expected to 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 know the the steps and be ready for them. When you went through the process last year, correct? You weren't all the way 100% healthy. Mm -hmm. You were dealing with a couple things. Now that you, you go through it a second time, what else more do you think you can show? Uh, now that you're you're a little closer to full health. Uh, Everything, everything I have to show. You know, uh, last year there's like uh, I wasn't like really bad in, in like workouts, but like I wasn't my full potential. So this year the goal is like showing my full potential and what I can do. What do you feel like you? What do you feel like you do best that you can show? Uh, you know, scouts and everything. Something that you can hang your hat on and maybe you can be even a leader at the next level. Uh, I feel like um, me, uh, I can play whatever po uh, position. Then anybody need me to play, you know. Uh, I can guard a guard. Uh, I'm fast enough to run any bigs. Uh, I'm athletic enough to like contact any big that try to go to the rim or any guard. So whatever I can uh, like play, they they want me to play. I can't do it. You know, last week uh, I texted Sin and I said what, when all the Frank news came out, and I was like, you think he's leaving for Cincy? He was like, nah, no way, not a chance. <laughs> Did you think there was uh, any chance that that he would leave USC? Um, no, I don't really think so. Yeah. Why do you feel that way? Man, that's, that's just a feeling. I don't, I don't know. That's just a feeling I had deep inside. When you look at potential of next year's team, everybody talks about how the biggest replacement, obviously, is somebody in the post that can dump the ball inside to and, and work from there. How Frank likes to model is, you know, typically his teams. How do you look at the makeup of next year's team uh, with all kind of the, the guards and wings and uh, they don't have you there in the middle anymore. So how do you think it'll, it'll look? Look differently than typical Frank teams, do you think? Uh, not really differently, but it, it more it more going to look like a, a Final Four team because uh, uh, a Final Four, I wasn't really experienced. All I, I had was my heart and like coach telling me like to, to give it all in, on the court. So I think if those uh, those guards like 
pick up the experience and we have like a big that just have heart and can like rebound the ball out the way Coach asked him to, we, we gonna be fine. Chris, how surprised were you to get the uh, the Doty Academic Award last night? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't surprised, surprised, but I was surprised because there's a lot of people that could have like, won the award. But like, uh, I mean, I'd definitely be in the Doty a lot because of my major, so it was an honor. Has it sunk in yet that the ride with South Carolina is almost over? Yes, it kind of did hit me a couple times already, like uh, walking around campus and stuff. I just can't feel it. I can't feel it coming. I'm not going to be sad, though. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, you know, after this you know, graduation in USC and everything, what, what's your schedule like? What do you do from there to sort of get ready for the next level? Uh, basically, uh, going from uh, uh, team to team, try to work out, uh, work out with them. Hopefully, I get to the uh, combine, um, have work out with NBA teams, and see what they tell me. Who all did you work out with last year? Uh, Boston, OKC, um, Milwaukee, uh, the Nets, and I think that's it. Okay. Do you have any scheduled workouts yet, or are you still working on narrowing that down? Uh, no, really. I'm like uh, I'm just focusing on for me right now. After that, I think my agent is gonna have like the schedule ready. Uh -oh. Chris, who, who you sign with, agent wise? Uh, IPZ. I, yeah. After this process, I mean, even getting your name called or just getting an opportunity because you know you have the G League now as well. What would just going through this process, you know, coming here to South Carolina and be able to go to the NBA and play in the NBA? What, what would that mean for you personally? It's the world, you know. Uh, that's a dream I had since I was a little kid, and not to like even smell the the, the sound of it. I, I, I can't, I'm like out of breath. Like I'm like oh, every time I try to think about it, like I'm really like this close from making it. So um, I mean, all I need is just a chance, and I promise you, I won't miss it.